What's up guys, welcome back to Unbox Junkie. My name is Matt and today we're looking at, well, we're looking at a lens. Uh, it's a very unique looking lens. I haven't seen one like this and the boxing that it came in was a little, it's a little unorthodox, a little different. Let's take this off. There we go. Yeah, there we go. So this is by Dong Dong Chakohua. Chakwiha? I don't if you know how to pronounce that, let me know in the comments below. Uh, and then I probably still won't be able to read it. Anyway, all of it is in Chinese. I don't know the brand name. I have no idea what it's actually called. I just know where you can get it. So let's look at the clip first. Oh yeah, that's a beefy clip. So your phone goes into here. You crank this up and down to tighten it and loosen it. And this is where the actual lens is gonna be um, like snapped into place. Okay, so the actual lens itself, it's kind of beefy. Oh, it comes in a nice little case too. Okay. Oh my God, that thing is, it's a little big. It's a little bigger than I thought it would be. Wow. Look at this thing. Comes with a microfiber cloth. That's good to have. It looks like there's a tripod mount on the bottom. That's kind of cool. There we go. Oh, wow, look at that. The front, it's got this wide band green film and on the back, it's got a blue, I don't know if you can see that. It's got the uh, wideband blue film, and I believe that is for, whoa. I think it's for like color correction or something like that, I believe. I could be wrong. I, I'm usually wrong. So it's a 42 millimeter lens. It is waterproof, so that's good. It's very, it's covered in this nice rubber, this thick, heavy rubber all the way around. Here's a small focus knot, and then the large one is, where, where is it? Oh, right here. Oh, oh, okay. Okay, so that, that kind of scopes out. Oh, wow. So it's a mono, it's a monocular, not a binocular, a mon monoocular, which stands for one. Okay, let's, let's try to put this, how, do, how does this work? Uh, that go here? So this, as you screw it down, these, these parts right here, they start squeezing in. So as you go like this, they start coming, they start moving inward. See that? That's cool. Okay. Now I know how to use it. Oh my goodness. Okay, so there's that. And then you take the phone and you line it up with your camera. You put it on here. Now obviously you're gonna have to adjust it depending on where your camera is and your phone. Whoa. My hands are so shaky, I need a tripod. Hold on, I'm gonna grab my tripod. There we go. Wow. Okay, first off, this is a crazy looking contraption, right? I mean, that is, this is insane. I'm gonna just go take some pictures real quick. Okay, so, whoa, all right. So, just to give you an idea of the distance we're looking at here, here is the grass that's about, that right there, that grass is about, I don't know, 20 feet, 20 feet in front of me or so. So I'm gonna pull it up going all the way to the edge of the grass, the bottom of the fence. There we go, you can see. Now, when you zoom out, this is the this is the view you get, but when you zoom in, you get all the way in there. Now, I'm gonna shoot it over the fence. There's a neighbor's, I'm looking at his TV. I shouldn't be doing that. But uh, <laughs> that's like four blocks away right there. That tree is not anywhere near me. And I'm able to zoom in and I am not focused in as far as it could focus. I could continue to focus forward. Now I'm focusing way past it, but I can't see that far. I don't have, wow, it keeps going. Let me pull it back, let me pull it back, there we go. Okay, let's get back in the studio. Okay, so it's a little finicky, right? It's a little shaky if you're trying to adjust and stuff like that. It's not the most sturdiest of thing, but I gotta say this by itself, the monocular itself, is actually pretty decent. I mean, you could just hold it up to your eye, your own eye, just, you know, just hold it up, which that's what its main purpose is. And it's great, it, zoom, it focuses way in. I mean, it really does work really well. With the attachment on there in the, in the camera, um, because it's such a small pinhole, when you're looking at it on screen, screen, you could see the circle, right? So you got to zoom into that circle and then you'll be able to focus 
the monocular and the camera will focus on that image. So it actually works pretty well. Again, it's just a little bit finicky. The setup is a little weird, but once you get it set up, you you end up with something like this. And I got <laughs> I gotta say, it kind of looks cool. I mean, it looks like some sort of professional rig. You could take something like this to like like a ball game or even like, you know, you're hunting or something like that and you need to see far away. This isn't a bad little device to be able to do that. Um, even if you're not using it to record, you're just using it to, to view. In the worlds of monoculars, I'm not sure where to scale it on the sense of like, quality wise, but I can say just holding it, it seems pretty heavy duty and for the price range of this, it's pretty good. It's not it's not bad at all. As cheap as it is, at least it's a good beginner monocular. All right guys, so that's it. I'm gonna leave a link down in the description below. Go check it out for yourself. Um, but as for now, get out of here.